welcome back everybody this is Malik and uh, we are going to get into uh, the hack this site dot org basic mission number eight uh, again if you if you like these videos if these videos are helping you out uh, please you know, give it a give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel there's going to be many more uh, once we finish the basic lessons or the the basic missions we're going to jump on into the realistic missions um, where we have to deal with some uh, some pretty tough little things to crack so let's go ahead and uh, jump into basic eight all right so in seven we found out that uh, Sam hid the file uh, and he set up a script to display a calendar what we had to do of course inside of that was uh, using some basic Unix commands we had to stick two commands together to run those inside of a a single input box uh, and we send that to the server if it's not set up correctly the server will run both commands and we got the password 8 is very very similar so what it tells us here is the password is hidden in an unknown file but Sam's daughter has started playing around with PHP and she's written a small script to demonstrate her knowledge. To pass this you have to understand SSI server side includes. It's a little bit different than what we did same concept but a little bit different than what we did on basic 7. Um, it, Again, there's going to be a, a lot of websites you can go to to understand server-side includes. Um, they, a server-side include, when you type in something, it executes some sort of action, whatever the command is. It executes some sort of action before the page is loaded or before it's drawn on your screen. So the web server takes a look at the, the input, analyzes what we call the server-side include before sending the page back. Now, we can turn this, of course, into a server-side injection by sending it some code that we're really not supposed to be able to send it. So let's just go in here to basic gate and see what it says. Alright, it says Sam remains confident. Let me kind of zoom in on this and help you guys out. Sam remains confident uh, that the password file is still the best idea, but he messed up with the calendar. So he saved the unencrypted password file in var www.hackthesite.org, HTML, missions, basic, 8. So in the folder, 8. However, Sam's young daughter, Stephanie, is beginning to program in PHP. She's talented, but she knows nothing about security. She recently learned about saving files, and she wrote a script to demonstrate her ability. So, let's see what it does if we do things normally. You just type in something, submit it. Okay. So, it says here our file has been saved. Please click here to view the file. And again, of course, we can always, you know, you know uh, view the properties of this thing, view the page source. Your file has been saved. Please click huh, temp folder. There's our file name here to view the file. Okay, that's going to come in handy. You see, she's actually saving the file here in a folder higher than where the file is that we want. Keep that in mind. Hint number one. Okay, so of course if we click on that, there it is. It says, hi Chuck, your name contains five characters. Okay, so let me just step back. So we have found out and I gave you one little hint here because that's a very it's kind of a tricky one. 
when we click the submit button we're actually moving a folder higher than where the password file is at. Okay, so keep that in mind. The second thing to keep in mind read up on server side includes. Now I have the best site to go to. It's this one here. It, the easiest thing for you to do is just go to Google and type in server-side injections. Look for the one that's from OWASP.org. This is the link. It's not a long read and they give you some really, really good examples. Trust me, really good examples on how to carry out a server-side injection. It will explain SSI and then how to turn it into an injection. All right, so dramatic pause here. Go check out that website. Remember the file when we click the submit button, we're going one folder higher than where the password file is that we need. After you're done with that, come back. We'll try to run some code through that submit box. All right. Dramatic pause. Okay. So, hopefully you've taken a look at that page. If you've taken a look at that page, actually somewhere on that page is almost the exact script that we need to write in this box short of one small thing and that's the other hint I gave you that when we click the submit button we're actually moving up a folder but as you probably saw if you read that SSI page SSI script starts oops let me do it right starts with this okay you can see I've already done some testing earlier. Now we type in the command that we want to run. It starts with the hash and we're going to send it the command to execute the command that equals ls. Okay. If you took a look at that OWASP page, this was on it. But they did this one. The page was actually this on the OWASP page. Well, if we submit that, we're going to get the file that's been saved. Please click here, and you're going to get this. Well, what we're taking a look at here is everything inside of the temp folder. We're one folder too high. We need to back up a folder. Thus directory transversal. Okay. It's going to be the same thing that we wrote. This is the one that we wrote. LS. But to tell it to back up a folder, put a space after the ls dot dot forward slash. That makes it back up a folder. So this simply states execute a command to list one folder lower than where we are. Click Submit. File's been saved. Click here. Okay. Now, we know that he placed it in an obscure file. Well, it's not level 18 PHP. It's not the temp folder. It's not index PHP. So, it's pretty much got to be this one. So, why don't we copy it? Go up here. Paste it after the 8. And there, my friends, is our password.
going to copy it back up a couple pages <laughs> until I can get back put in the password submit it and BAM completed basic 8 you my friends have now done a server-side injection alright so enjoy yourselves do a little happy dance again you like the videos give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel you want to see a whole lot more of these and hang around because basic 9 is coming up alright uh, so until then I'll see you soon